Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Since last time, I took the time to farm over 900,000 zenny, and it took me half an hour of gold brick farming with fast forwarding. So you guys better appreciate me showing off what happens when you actually are insane enough to save up the money. Oh, well, yeah, that goes without saying. Oh, <laughs> well, I suppose I am a hitman of sorts. <laughs> or that, too, yeah. Could, could we just have the plant, then? Oh, hey, hey, all right. Er, wait, what? Nice. Yeah, so no matter what you do with even if you give him the money, you still get a boss fight anyway. And you don't even get your money back if you win! Come on! So, yeah, you really shouldn't go with this option here. Instead, let's get back to Township here. And, well, there's still a few things around the world that I want to take care of here. Well, like I said before, I could recruit the ninth character at this point. But I'm going to wait a little bit on that. So instead, there's another familiar, well, a couple familiar faces that I'd like to show off. You don't have to do this, but I think this is the first opportunity we have to go there. Hmm, what's that place? Hmm, well, there's no beach on the place, and it's really raised up, raised up off the ground. I don't know how anyone's supposed to get there, or out of there for that matter, without dying. I think you would die if you hit the water that hard from so high of a uh, height. But anyway, we got this island here. I think it's, people call it Giant Island for some reason. I don't know. But there are some really powerful enemies here, I think. So it's like a good place for level grinding or something, but... Hey, hey, Bo, how's it going? Yeah, the, looks just like him from the first game. When he wasn't a puppy dog. Ah, uh, wait, wh what are you talking about? Ah, uh, okay. I have no idea what he's talking about there. If you know, let me know, viewers, but I do not. And we also got... Car or can I... Hold on. I want to actually see you when I'm talking to you. Karn? Game? Stop moving so fast! Okay, yeah. So this time around, they didn't censor Karn his appearance. Ah, okay. But yeah, they have these two guys here for no reason. There's no plot relevance to them being here, but... There they are. Okay, so that's the only thing I really wanted to show off there. So now there's another merchant or fish merchant chap that I want to get some equipment for. So let's see. We got to go pretty far west. It's, well, about as far west as you can get in the world. If I can ever find it. It's a southwest of... Uh, Fort Nijur. Okay, yeah, it's right around here. Though I do need to find a way to get over there. And maybe I'll get lucky with getting it, getting the fishing spot to spawn. Or I could just fight them now. Okay. I wasn't planning on fighting these guys, but okay. Let's see. Let's go after the sea jelly there. And I'll have Nina take care of the other guy with lightning! Or they could just run away. Why not? Okay, never mind then. Okay, let's see. Sea jellies are also weak to thunder! And we could have met up with them in the area around the whale cape area. But otherwise, yeah, there's nothing really remarkable about them. Did I get the fishing spot? No! 
Oh! Okay, never mind then. Okay, I was going to go to the house, but no! We gotta do the fishing now! Okay, so, just the same thing as before. Equip your deluxe rod and the coin, and we'll see what we can do then. Okay, just get it as close to Ryu as possible. Sooner or later, the fish merchant will show up. And I just want to kind of dangle it here. Where is the guy? Ah, there we go. Okay, come on. I can do it! Ha-ha! Gotcha! Which is it supposed to be, anyway? Manilo or Maniro? I've heard it translated both ways. Okay, so we got the fish merchant here, so let's buy some stuff with the remainder of the money that I farmed. No, I did not keep the 900 grand that I had before there. Okay, so let's see. We... what do we want to get here? Okay, we need six speed shoes. Each pair of them boosts your agility and thus your vigor stat by 10. They are really, really good. And let's see, let's get eight courage belts. They boost your attack stat by 10 each, so those can be pretty useful. I also want to get a few Mane er, Romero braces, not Manero. And I'm going to use them for a single boss fight way later in the game, but it's kind of annoying without them. So, we got that. And let's see... Oh yeah, we got the Holy Scarf here that reduces random encounters, but I thought I heard it was, like, bugged or something. Like, it doesn't work if the encounter rate is already, like, hyperactive or something like that. I, I don't know the details of that, but regardless, I'm not going to take it because I want to get as much experience as possible without deliberate grinding. Okay, so, as far as the setup goes... Ryu is going to be too slow no matter what I do. At least at this point, because his armor is so heavy. Later on, I might be able to give him some speed shoes to make a difference. But I do want to equip a Dream Jewel on Ryu, or on everyone except Nina, because there's a random enemy coming up who could potentially put you to sleep. So I want to be ready for that. Let's see. Bosh just doesn't have the levels to get fast enough for the speed shoes to matter here. So I'm just gonna leave him alone there without speed shoes. Just a good courage belt to boost your damage output. That'll be good enough for you. Let's see, now with Sten, he can get fast enough. So let's give you a speed pair of speed shoes. That should make you faster, or guarantee him being faster than every random enemy in the next area we'll be going to. And let's see, with Nina, I'm just gonna leave her with the wisdom braces since if she gets put to sleep, it's not going to be the end of the world anyway. And the Wisdom Braces help her with status resistance anyway. So, Oh, and by the way, something else I did since last time. I gave the Sanamo Shaman to Bosh because that'll help him out with his twin bow damage. It's not quite obscene right now, but later on in the game, it will become obscenely powerful. Okay, let's see who's home there anyway. By the way, for spawning that fish point, you don't want to go too far west because you'll be in an, a different enemy domain and... What is it? Yeah, and then you won't be able to get the fishing point to spawn. But, yeah, it looks like no one's home. Huh. Well, that's kind of pointless. Yeah, seriously, I have no idea what the point is of this house. Maybe someone shows up here at night, but even then I don't think it's important. Okay, never mind then. Let's get back to our whale then. And now we need to find the Uparupas. Oops. Okay, where do we go from here? Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Unfortunately, you can't just, like, go right through the continent to the east there to Sima Fort because there's a huge forest in the way there. If only we could get Bo to join our party and walk through the forest for us, but sadly, we cannot. 
not in this game. So the cave that we're looking for is to the northeast of hometown. Uh, the way that I think you're supposed to know is... Okay, there's... Goodness. Yeah, go northeast. Yeah, there, if you recall, there was a house between Windia and Capitan where I think they were talking about Uparupas or some kind of fruit or something or other like that. And I think someone there said Uparupas like to dwell in caves by the ocean or something or other like that. I forget exactly what they say, but I'll just tell you, this is where you need to go. So, let's take a look around, then. And fight a new enemy here. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Fallen Elves. Okay, these guys can... potentially uh, t attack twice in a single round. They can also potentially silence you with their Hush spell. Fortunately, Sten is now fast enough with his Fire Blast that he might be able to kill them before they can do anything. Yeah, these guys... Yes! Okay. Yeah, now you're starting to see the real power of Sten. Well, maybe not, but... It does help. Okay... You're doing okay, but I want to keep an eye on Sten's AP because a lot of enemies here are weak to fire, like those guys were. Oh, what's that? A mystery helm? I have no idea what that is or what it does. It's probably something that I just never paid attention to, but... Oh, wow. Huh. You know, let's take advantage of it since I normally... I mean, I suppose I could have gotten a black helm for him. How does that compare to the black helm? Wow, it's even stronger than that thing. Huh. How rare is that? Let me look it up. Wow, it's a class 1 treasure drop, which means it is really, really w rare. Huh. Well then. We're going to get another piece of headgear for Sten that's guaranteed anyway. But yeah, i never seen that one before. But here we get a non-elemental staff for Lynn if you're using her. She could still be pretty useful in this dungeon. In fact, you can use her later on. There's another dungeon, or what is it? There's a, there's a town where you have to bring her along. And then there's a treasure chest that you can only get with her. I think it's like in the final dungeon or something. But I usually don't bother with it, though. I'll show it to you, but... Uh-oh. I forgot about my AP because I was excited about the rare drop. Well, not that it's a big deal. Okay, well, then we got these new enemies here. Stingers that can uh, heal themselves. They are fairly quick, too. One thing you want to watch out for with the stingers, though, is that they can counterattack your physical attacks. So I would try to use spells, either like Fire Blast or Slice or... Any fires, uh, any other fire magic you got? Hey, all right, good shot. Yeah, one thing you want to watch out for, especially with the twin bow, is that if an enemy can counterattack you, they can potentially counter Bosch twice because of each hit that he deals to them. They're considered two separate attacks. So, that could be really, really bad for you. But yeah, I was saying about Lynn, I'm not going to actually be using her for combat for the remainder of the game. But you can if you want. Oh! I didn't mean to use that. I was going to use a Wisdom Seed. I was like, why didn't I lose HP? 
Well, too late now. I mean, I've got another one in reserve anyway, but... Okay, there's a path upward there, but it's just a dead end. You can actually see a treasure chest on this side in the room up there. However, you can't get it from this side of the room. Your path is blocked there. But you can get it from the other side where I'll be going next. And here we get coin number two. I want to save that for another Manila shop. All right, and after that battle there, the one before it actually, Bosch gained level and learned the Cure 2 spell, or Rejuvenate there. So now, let's see, do you have that? Yeah, so now we got Rejuvenate on just about everyone that I care about. Not that it's that extraordinary, but it's good for now. Bosch has the speed, more than ran. And here we got the last new enemy around here, Sirens. They can put you to sleep. So I definitely want to take them out in short order here. That's why I've got the Dream Jewels equipped on most of my party members. Yeah, they can do that too. It's not that it's really a big deal. Elemental damage just, I mean, outside of you exploiting enemy weaknesses. But enemies using elemental magic on you, it's... Not really that extraordinary to worry about, usually. Maybe if it's like a Bolt X or something, but usually I wouldn't go out of my way to use a weaker piece of equipment, even if it has an elemental resistance, because it's not like it cuts the damage in half. You gotta equip like two or three pieces of equipment with elemental damage resistance to actually make a solid difference against it. So... Yeah, I don't really worry about that. Too bad, I would have liked that. Alright, here we get a little upgrade there for Nina. Oh, and it boosts her wisdom a little bit too, nice. Yeah, it makes her a little slower, but she's already too slow anyway, so who cares. Where are those Oopa Roopas around here anyway? Hey, how's it go? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Seriously, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else going on here. Oh, you don't have to have them teach you, but you might as well, it's cheap enough. Oh, okay. And then what? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you try to go for it too quickly, it'll just hide back in the hole wherever they come out of. Oh, okay. Well, keep that in mind. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing the knowledge, even though you're looking like you want to catch some Uparupas yourself. Oh. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? By the way, I looked up the mystery hat. I think the only way you can acquire it, other than an ultra rare drop, is from a Manero, or Manilo shop that I will not be going to. I think I could access it now if I really wanted to, but I don't. Okay, so now we're in the Uparupa cave here. So there's no random encounters here, I don't think. Right, okay, good, good. Now there's a whole bunch of, well, holes around here. You can see their bug eyes in the hole there. And in order to do what I want to do here, I want to catch one from this hole here. So let me just make a backup just in case I somehow really screw up. So, yeah, let's give them an alger fruit, and then we need to back up here, and then wait for it. Haha! -ha, gotcha! For boss time against the Oopa Roopa. So, yeah, you're going to have to win this fight. So, let's see. These guys, I think they're weak to fire, aren't they? Where is it? Oh, they're weak to thunder. Okay, never mind. They're strong against fire. I was confused there. 
Now let's use our little dragon whelps. They'll deal the same damage anyway, since they have an elemental weakness. I'm actually going to have Bosch defend here, because I can't... Or, what is it? This, this guy can counterattack you. In fact, I don't think it takes any actions other than counterattacking. But yeah, I don't want to risk Bosch possibly dying from a counterattack from these guys, because they have a lot of attack power. They could probably kill Bosch if I had him actually physically attack. All right, got him. Yeah, I didn't even need Nina to cast Jolt or anything. Oh, hmm. You know, let's make a backup here. But what happens if I decide to let the Oopa Roopa go? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.